Praise the Lord, everybody. Amen. We certainly do praise God for his goodness and his mercy and the grace that he has given unto us. It's a good thing to be back in the house of the Lord one more time. I often say, as David said, I was glad when they said unto me, let us go into the house of the Lord. And the Bible says for us to enter in his gates with thanksgiving and to enter in his courts with praise. Yeah. And I certainly do praise the Lord and give him thanks for all that he has done. Mm -hmm. Amen. He truly, he's good to us and each and every one of us. And we ought to be good to the Lord yeah. uh, because of his goodness. And uh, right now we want to go before the Lord in prayer. Uh, obviously, we want to remember uh, men and women and children everywhere that the Lord himself will continue to save and add to the church daily, such as should be saved. And also to remember um, men and women in all walks of life and, and every station of life uh, and every condition uh, that people may be going through. Yeah. You never know uh, what a person is going through. And, and uh, sometimes uh, they don't tell you what they're going through. Uh, sometimes you'll be able to see it and discern it, uh, what they're going through. But regardless, um, let us pray one for another that the Lord will continue to save and add to the church daily, such as should be saved. And let us also remember um, remember uh, the church uh, as a whole, the church leadership. Remember our children, uh, that the Lord will bless them. Um, you know, the enemy is after our children mm -hmm. uh, because, you know, that's the closest thing to us, so to speak. And um, so... Uh, he's trying to get them to get to us. So let us pray uh, one for another. Let us pray also uh, for those that are tuning in with us on today. Uh, that something be said and done to encourage us, to inspire our hearts. Amen. I'm always looking for something uh, special uh, for the Lord to show and to reveal unto us. Amen. Because uh, truly the Lord is uh, full of mysteries. And his mysteries are there for revelation, for us to be revealed uh, so that we can uh, grow, so that we can be uh, what he's calling for. So as we get ready on today, if there's any other prayer requests, you can make it known at this particular time. Thank you, Lord. Pray for Sister Priscilla. Pray for Sister Priscilla. Amen. All right. So we want to ask the church to stand and, and those that are tuning in. Uh, virtually, if you have a particular prayer request, uh, you can uh, put it in the comment section, and I'm sure to review it uh, after our Bible study. I always review uh, the Bible study uh, afterwards to, so I can uh, glean some more things <laughs> from the Word of God. So uh, put it in the comment section. I'll be sure to read it and pray. Let every heart pray. Gracious Father, in the name of Jesus, we certainly thank you, Lord. For your goodness and your mercy, your loving and kindness, we thank you for how you have blessed each and every soul that is here on today. We ask you, Lord, that you continue to encourage our hearts and strengthen us, Lord, for this journey. Bless each and every request that's been made known in the name of Jesus. Send forth your anointing, send forth your power, send forth your grace, send forth your glory. And Lord, we ask you, Lord, that you grant the door of utterance in the name of Jesus. And Father, we'll give you glory and honor and praise in Jesus' name. Amen and amen. Thank you, Lord. We uh, want to go back over to the book of Ephesians, uh, chapter number five. And uh, Lord, we'll, we'll be finishing up this book soon. Uh, and then we'll go on to our, our next course of study. And um, um, as we are looking in uh, this particular book, we just want to review just for a moment. Uh, Paul is always talking about our, our walk with the Lord. And um, what I'm coming to realize uh, uh, from, for this particular Bible study, uh, the Lord wants to impress upon us uh, uh, the need for uh, relationship. And as I was studying uh, this, I can see that coming out in the writings of Paul. Uh, relationship um, and the Lord was letting me to know that holiness is really all about relationship if you think about what Christ did for us 
Uh, he died on the cross for our sins so that we can have a right relationship with God. Mm -hmm. And based on our right relationship with God, then God can be kind and affectionate toward us. He can help us. Yeah. Amen. He can build us up. He can give us an inheritance and we can spend eternal life with him. Mm -hmm. If people reject Christ, uh, then their relationship remains in a bad state. And then because of their relationship remaining in a bad state, they are separated from God. They perish. They go to uh, a place of uh, uh, eternal damnation, If you just to make it plain. <laughs> People don't like to say that word. <laughs> but, you know, if you're going to be separated from God, that's what's going to happen. Uh, eternal damnation. <laughs> so, uh, as we as we come together on tonight uh, and realize these things, it's about relationship. God, God uh, so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son that whosoever believeth in him should not perish, but have what? An everlasting life. Amen. So um, as we get ready to, to go into our Bible study on today, we certainly do thank and praise God for each and every one of you coming out on tonight. Um, in the book of Ephesians, chapter number five, and and also too in dealing with relationship, um, um, we want to have a right relationship with God because of what Christ has done for us. God has made us special, Amen. Those that receive Jesus as their Lord and Savior baptized in his name, filled with the Holy Ghost, you are special Amen. unto God. And um, uh, based on that, uh, your, your speciality, God expects more out of you now. Amen. Amen. And Amen. that's why Paul talks about us being filled with his spirit. Yeah. Amen. And, Amen. and then when we're looking at, uh, once again, relationship, we have said earlier that holiness True holiness is really all about relationship. Amen. What, what, what Christ did for us mm -hmm. to give us a right relationship with God. Amen. And then if you uh, look at the, the Ten Commandments, those Ten Commandments that God gave unto Moses to give, I'm going to say it, unto us. The first four commandments deal with our relationship with God. Thou shalt have no other God before me. Thou shalt not take the name of the Lord thy God in vain. Thou shalt not make any graven images. And um, thou shalt keep the Sabbath day. And if you keep those four commandments, if you allow me to say it, you'll have a right relationship with God. Yeah. And the, the last six of the commandments deal with our relationship with one another. Honor thy mother and father. Thou shalt not kill. Thou shalt not steal. Thou shalt not bear false witness. Um, and uh, I'm, I'm missing some. Thou shalt not commit adultery. Um, thou shalt not covet. Amen. So, so, so if you don't do uh, break those commandments, you'll have a good relationship with your brother or sister. Amen. 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 You, <laughs> Thank you. I ain't lying on you. I ain't stealing from you. Amen. If I'm not, I'm not coveting what you got. Uh, I'm sure not murdering you. We can get along. <laughs> Amen. And, and, and that's what God wants us to understand. Amen. Thank you, Lord. Relationship. One with another. So as we uh, get ready to uh, press it up, just want to start at verse number one. And we're just going to move quickly until we get down to the, to the subject of what we're going after on tonight. All right. Read. Be ye therefore followers uh -huh. of God. As dear children. All right, he wants us to be imitators of God as dear children. That's how we ought to be. Read. And walk in love. Mm -hmm. As Christ also hath loved us. Yes. And hath given himself for us an offering and a sacrifice to God for a sweet smelling savior. Now notice what he said, and walk in love. That means live in an attitude of love. Everything that you do because you are on Christ's side should be motivated by love. If, if, if you're not motivated by love, your actions aren't motivated by love, you ought not do it. Amen? And notice what he says, walk in love 
as Christ has loved us. He lets us know right there that Christ is our example. Amen. Jesus, when he washed his disciples' feet, he said, I'm giving you, I'm doing this uh, for you as an example so that you can do this one to another. Uh, if I've washed your feet, you should wash one another's feet. And, and Jesus is saying that his whole life is an example unto us. Amen. Let this mind be in you, which is also where? In Christ Jesus. So, so, so um, um, we ought to uh, use the, the, the lifestyle of Jesus as an example. Notice, he says, walk in love as Christ has loved us. Amen. I, I, the measure of your love or the measure of your walk should be as equal as, as, as Christ's walk with the Father toward us. My walk with God uh, uh, should be equal as Christ's love toward uh, me as I should show toward you. Amen? Yeah. Do unto others as you would have them do unto yeah. you. Amen? Amen? Thank you, Lord. That's the measure. Notice. Read that verse again, Pastor Duck. And walk in love. Walk in love. As Christ also hath loved us. Uh-huh. And hath given himself for us. Now notice. Given himself for us. Because I'm walking in love, I'm on the Lord's side, I should give myself for you. Yeah. Amen. I should, my life should be dedicated toward helping you. Right. Now notice, uh, when we dealt earlier in, the, in this uh, epistle, we dealt with unity. Amen. We dealt with unity. Unity comes about by me having uh, a, a, a concern for you. Now, don't, not every man look upon his own things, but every man also look upon the things of others. I should not just be concerned about my favorite three people, no. me, myself, and I. <laughs> uh, I should not be concerned about them, amen, as much as I'm concerned about you. Amen? Thank you, Lord. Like Christ, he was concerned about us. That's why he gave his life for us. Amen. Thank you, Lord. He redeemed us for, for us. Amen. Made himself an offering. We have to make ourselves an offering one toward another. And this concept is different from the world. The world only thinks about getting advantage, getting ahead. Yeah. What can you do for me? What have you done for me lately? And, and, and John F. Kennedy said, think not what you can do uh, for yourself, but think what you can do for your country. Ask not. Amen. Ain't that what he said? Yeah. You should ask yourself, what can I do for my brother and sister uh, to, so we can advance the kingdom? That's unity. Amen. That's unity. And you allowing me to, to help you will bring about a stronger body of Christ. Me, you, me allowing you to help me uh, will bring about a stronger body of Christ. Amen. So, so we got to be concerned about one another. Uh, amen? Call one another. Talk to one another. Uh, uh, forbear one another in love. Ain't that what the Bible said? Uh, uh, be patient one toward another. Amen? Thank you, Lord, because you were created in the image and the likeness of God. Uh, thank you, Lord. And I can't say I love you. Uh, and, and I can't say I hate you and say I love God. And ain't that what the scripture said? Thank you. So I got to be concerned about you. All right. Read. What does it say? Who gave, who had given himself for us as a what? An offering. Offering. And a sacrifice. And a sacrifice. To God. Uh-huh. For a sweet-smelling Savior. All right. Now, these next verses, we're going to move quickly uh, because we, we there. We're going to move quickly. Uh, now, what I like about uh, these next verses is this is styled as uh, the book of Proverbs. And if you read the book of Proverbs, you see there's, there's some good qualities there, and then there's some bad qualities we ought to avoid. Amen? So, so, so this is what Paul is styling his writing after. He's giving you some good qualities that you should do, and then now he's giving you some bad qualities that you should avoid. Amen. That should not be named among us as becoming saints. And as I said that uh, Paul is focused on unity and relationship 
if you participate in these next things, you'll destroy the unity. You'll destroy the relationship. Amen? Because these things destroy. They don't edify. They don't build up. They don't encourage. Amen? We ought to be live our lives to encourage people. We ought to live our lives to build up. Amen? And, you know, away with all that foolishness of, of, of division and divisiveness and me trying to get over. Amen? And me trying to uh, 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 do things that are, uh, are ungodly and unseemly. Amen? Thank you. I ought to be able to visit you at any hour of the day or any hour of the night and you still the same. Amen? And you doing things that are, are righteous and holy and godly. I never should see you in a corner somewhere smoking and drinking, cussing folk out, uh, uh, making, plotting against your brothers or your sisters, or doing wicked stuff. Right. Amen. Stealing. Amen. Uh, that, 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 that that's unbecomely of us. Amen. That's not a part of the body. And those things bring about uh, division in the church. Uh, and gossipers, whoremongers. Amen. Oh, God. My God. Let me feel, okay, let's look. Uh, but notice what he said, verse number three. What did he say? The fornication. The fornication. And all uncleanness. All uncleanness. Or covetousness. Uh huh. Let it not be once named among you yep, uh -huh. as becoming saints. Now, see, put all that stuff away. Amen. Let us grow up and mature. Yeah. Amen. Uh, these negative and bad behaviors ought not be. Uh, name among us. Right. Amen. There's some stuff um, um, uh, that we ought not, uh, how can I say it? Lord, help me here, Holy Ghost. Um, make a couple people mad. <laughs> Thank you, Lord. Some stuff uh, just ought not be mentioned among the people of God. Right. Amen. 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 Thank you, Lord. There's some stuff people can say, well, so and so did this. And if it ain't lining up with the word, I say, uh-uh, they ain't do that. Uh, they, right. they, 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 that's not them. That's not their character. Right. That's not what they do. Right. Amen. All right, read where we at. Five. Uh-huh. No, four. Okay. Neither filthiness. Uh-huh. Nor foolish talking. Yes. Nor jesting. Uh-huh. Which are not convenient. Yes. But rather giving of thanks. Uh-huh. Instead of doing those things, turn around and just give thanks. Right. Bless the Lord. Amen. Give God glory and honor yeah. and praise. Mm -hmm. All right, read. For this ye know, uh -huh. that no whoremonger, no whoremonger, nor unclean person, yes. nor covetous man, uh -huh. who is an idolater, yes. have any inheritance in the kingdom of Christ and of God. Now, people that do those things that are described in verse number uh, 3 and verse number 5, uh, it cuts the relationship off. Amen. Paul is all about relationship. Holiness is all about relationship. Mm -hmm. Amen. And if a person does those things, they can they they might as well be uh, not even they get the eyes out of heaven. Mm -hmm. Amen. They, you don't have no inheritance in God's kingdom. Amen. Because those things that they destroy the relationship. Amen. Holiness they destroy the relationship. Amen. All right. Read. What's that? What verse we in? Ephesians 5 and 6. Mm -hmm. Read. Let no man deceive you now don't, vain words. Now don't, don't let nobody uh, 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 fake you out. Amen. Don't let nobody tell you a little sin won't, won't, won't destroy you. Huh? He said a little leaven. Yeah. Leaven the whole lump. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. Thank you, Lord. And, and um, uh, my wife's grandfather, he used to say, look, a uh, sip of gin. What's he say? A little sip of gin won't make you sin or something? <laughs> right. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? It, it will make you sin. <laughs> uh -huh. it, it gets in you. Thank you, Lord. So don't let nobody deceive you. Amen. Uh, Deacon Fields? I have a question. Now, Paul was saying these things and from experience. Yes. Because it's like, I can tell someone, hey, don't let nobody catch you blowing your cool. Because they ain't going to never believe you saved again. You're going to have a hard time trying to convince them that you saved. Mm -hmm. So uh, 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 I think he was reminding people, don't do not do these things. Right. Because I, I may have learned from experience. I may have done these things. But hey, 
Don't do these things because they can really be a stumbling block to other people. Absolutely. And I like what he said. Be a stumbling block to other people. Amen. Not only will you be a stumbling block, but other people can stumble over it. Amen. And, and we ought to be servants one to another. Helpers one to another. Amen. That's how you keep unity. It's all about relationship. Amen. We don't do these things. There's a lot of things that are, are lawful but not expedient. Uh, because, you know, uh, uh, Paul talked about it in the book of Corinthians, 2 Corinthians. He talked about eating meat. You know, I can eat some meat, uh, but if uh, my brother see me eat that meat, he'll stumble. Uh, he'll fall. You follow me? Because having a lack of understanding. Uh, uh, Paul is like, hey, I can go into the temple and, and shave my head with the rest of the people there and take a vow, you know, and come out saved, sanctified, still filled with the Holy Ghost. But some people can't do that. Uh, that's what he was saying. Some people, they was, they was serving meat that was offered to idols. Uh, and Paul said, uh, oh, idol ain't nothing but a dumb thing. Uh, give me that chicken. Uh, give me that steak. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So he recognized that. But some people say, ah, uh, that was offered up to an idol. Don't eat it. You know what I mean? But see, uh, people, a lot of people don't have the wisdom and the knowledge to uh, be able to eat the fish and spit out the bones. You know what I'm saying? So if I'm with a weak brother or a weak sister, and I don't mean that in a negative way. A lot of people, you weak if you don't have knowledge and understanding. You know what I mean? So, so, so then if I know that that's going to cause them to stumble, hey, I leave that good fried chicken there. You know, leave that steak there smelling all good. I'm hungry, belly turning. But because I don't want to uh, cause them to stumble, I sacrifice. Amen. Because you don't want other people to stumble. You sacrifice. Amen. Hallelujah. All right. Read, read Pastor Tuck. What verse be in? Six. Uh -huh. Let no man deceive you with vain words. Yes. For because of these things cometh the wrath of God upon the children of disobedience. Now notice, what comes the wrath of God upon children of disobedience? Wrath. The, the wrath, the sin, uh, uh, disobedience. Not doing things that, uh, doing those negative things that he described. And notice, it destroys the relationship. God is love. Yes, and he yes. wants to show his love toward us. Right. And, and he wants to be in a right relationship with us. Right. Amen. So therefore, uh, if we do wicked things, it, it incurs his wrath. It causes, it causes judgment to come. Amen. Amen? And God, God, God is a, uh, how can you say it? He's a judgmental God, yes. but that's not his first go-to. No. Amen. He don't, he don't want to destroy us. Am I right? He wants to love on us. But when people choose the wrong way, it, it forces his hand. Amen? People make the choice. Amen? All right, where are we at? What verse are we in? Seven. All right, read. Be, be not ye therefore partakers with them. Uh -huh. now, don't, even, don't even fellowship with people that are doing those things, that are in the body of Christ. Amen? Because sinners, they're doing stuff like that. God wants you around the sinners, but he wants you around them being light. Amen. So that they can see your light. Uh, so that they can turn from darkness to light. Amen. But if you're around some saints that are saying that they're doing these things, we're going to go and get together and have, a, have a, 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 an orgy or have a, have a whatever. You know, uh, we're going we gonna to do some smoke. You know, uh, then, then you like, hey. Pastor said, don't go, so I ain't going. <laughs> you know, don't go to that kind of stuff. <laughs> Amen? Thank you, Lord. But now, now I want to make this clear. Uh, uh, Paul made it clear. He said, he talked about, uh, now, uh, to, uh, you can't avoid sinful people because they're going to be doing these things, but just don't be a partaker of what they're doing but allow your light to shine among them. Amen? Be that light. Witness to them. Amen? Notice what Jesus told the uh, Apostle Paul when he was converting him. He says, I'm going to be delivering you from the people 
uh, unto, uh, unto those who now I send you to. So he got converted. Amen. Paul, Jesus told Peter uh, 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 that I'm going to convert you. And that word convert means I'm going to sanctify you, make you holy. And that's what he was telling Paul. Once you are sanctified and holy, got some strength, then you go back to those that he had delivered you from because you can be an influence unto them. Amen. Your influence, you got influence. Amen. Don't fool yourself. When you name the name of Jesus and you walking with him, you got influence. People pay attention to what you say. Amen. And y'all follow what I'm saying? Dang, I was reminded of that Sunday. Uh, when I remember I was preaching, I was there, I was, I was trying to be funny. <laughs> you can't be funny when you're preaching. <laughs> Thank you, Jesus. I said, I said, y'all gonna make me cuss up in here. I heard about that later. Uh, people said, uh-uh, Pastor, you shouldn't have said that. Uh, I said, yeah, you I said, you right. I'm trying to be funny. I said, uh-uh, there ain't no time to be that way. You follow what I'm saying? Now, now I ain't cussing 30 some years. Uh, I've been saved 30 some years, so I ain't cussed my wife after I got saved. You know, but 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 I gotta watch my words. Amen. I gotta watch what I say. Amen. I don't wanna be a stumbling block. Uh, so I apologize. I apologize. Thank you, Lord. When the person brought that to my attention, I ain't get mad. I ain't get upset. I said, You right. You right. Amen. Huh? Thank you. Gotta be wise. A wise person receives correction. Huh? Thank you, Lord. I ain't above correction. <laughs> Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. My God, I feel the Holy Ghost. <laughs> Thank you. I feel the Holy Ghost. Thank you, Jesus. So, so I apologize. All right, Pastor, let me move on. I ain't got my whooping for the day. <laughs> uh huh. For you were sometimes darkness. Now, no, you, this is the way you used to be. Amen. This is the way you used to be. You were sometimes darkness, which equates to living in sin. You were sometimes sinful. Amen? Read. But now are you light in the Lord. Now notice, now are you light in him. Thank you, Lord, in the Lord. Arise and shine, for thy light has come, and the glory of the Lord has risen upon thee. Walk in the light, huh? as he is in the light. Amen. Uh, imitate Jesus. Walk like Jesus. Mm -hmm. Talk like Jesus. Amen? Amen. Amen. Thank you. They may talk about you. Uh, but that's all right. Uh, you, they talked about him. And that was all right. He said, blessed is the man when they shall revile you and say all manner of evil against you. What? False. You got to be false. Uh, that's the key. False. <laughs> got to be false. Uh, 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 falsely. Uh, thank you, Lord. He said, rejoice and be exceedingly glad. Why? Because great is your what? Reward in heaven. When he said great, it's great. It's greater than great. It's greater than what you can think. Hey, you couldn't carry it. <laughs> hey, glory. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. We got an inheritance. Amen. We got something special. That's why the enemy is after you. Amen. That's why he's trying to steal, kill, and destroy you. Because you got something great. Amen. You connected to something great. Amen. Hallelujah. This ain't the end. This ain't what it is. Amen. Uh huh. He knows where you're going. Yes. And he's, he's trying to destroy your destiny. Yes. 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 And I like that. When she said he knows where you're going, when my mind immediately went uh, 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 to heaven because that's where he got kicked out of. Amen. He yeah. was in the presence of God. Yes, he was. Am I right? Yeah. Huh? A cherub in the yeah. presence of God. Yeah. He was God's praise and worship leader. Yeah. Yes, Amen. Yeah. Hallelujah. Yeah. Thank you, Lord. My God. So he knows. Yeah. Huh? He knows. Yeah. Hallelujah. He knows. Yeah. Huh? Yes. Amen. Yeah. Hallelujah. He knows. Mm -hmm. So let us, let us, uh, let us, let us. Be mindful of this. Amen. Be mindful of your habitation. Be mindful of your walk with God. Amen. 
And don't let nobody deceive you. No. Am I right? What verse are we in? Where are we at? Ephesians? Uh, 5 and 8. 5 and 8. All right. Read that verse again. For ye were sometimes darkness, uh -huh. but now are ye light in the Lord. Yes. Walk as children of light. Now notice, live. He keeps saying that word, walk. Mm -hmm. And that deals with your lifestyle. Mm -hmm. uh, your lifestyle, it means something. Your lifestyle, uh, if you got a good lifestyle, you got some good habits. Yeah. Amen. And 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 people know you by your lifestyle. Mm -hmm. Amen. Thank you, Lord. God knows you by your lifestyle. Mm -hmm. And you ought to walk in light. Amen. Not darkness. Yeah. Uh, I haven't got so used to light now. I don't even want to. I don't even want to be in dark. Mm -hmm. In darkness. Amen. I'm talking about in a natural sense. Mm -hmm. Uh, I'm going to light all around me. Mm -hmm. uh, thank you, Lord. All right, read. Nine. Uh -huh. For the fruit of the Spirit is in all goodness and righteousness mm -hmm. and truth. Now, God wants you to be filled with his Spirit. Yeah. And the, when the Scripture talks about uh, being filled with the, the Spirit of God, it doesn't mean that, 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 that the Holy Ghost keeps uh, uh, filling you with the Spirit, filling you with the Spirit until you get to a certain level. That doesn't, that's not what it means. Uh, when, when, when we receive the Holy Ghost, we receive all of that which we need uh, from God, His Spirit. So when he's talking about being full of the Spirit, he's really talking about allowing the Spirit to lead and guide you. Allow the Spirit to influence you. Amen. Be motivated by the Spirit. Allow the Spirit to, 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 to increase in you and in a sense wherein you are submissive to the Spirit. Amen. Amen. It's all about submission. It's all about relationship. You should have a relationship with the Father, Son, and Holy Ghost where you are submitted to them. And when you are submitted to them, uh, then, then you are full of them. Amen. Y'all with me? Y'all understand what I'm saying? Thank you, Lord. All right. Read. Go ahead. This is, I'm just saying, this is like advanced stuff because in the fourth chapter, it told you to put away all bitterness, yes. trash, anger, 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 and evil speaking. Uh -huh. And if you haven't done that, don't even start with this chapter. <laughs> <laughs> and, a, and a lot of us carry that. And, and I say that because if you don't put that away sooner or later, it keeps building up and building up and building up. And sooner or later, somebody push a button and next you know, something's going to come out that, that shouldn't. Or, or you might do something that you shouldn't do. Well, so you have to put these things away before you even get to the fifth chapter. Ah, well, 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 I'm going to beg to differ. I'm going to beg to differ in this sense. In this sense. Um, actually, in that verse, that verse... Uh, that verse uh, number five, five and two, he tells you to walk in love. That's how you put away bitterness. That's how you put away the anger. Huh? That's how you put away fornication. That's how you put away sin, by walking in love. You follow what I'm saying? That's how you accomplish these things. That's how you uh, manifest God's holiness. You gotta operate in love. And, and, and go ahead, Sister Gilbert. When um when you are filled with the Holy Ghost, right? Yes. God gives you love, don't He? Yes, that's part of that fruit of that Spirit. Absolutely, absolutely. And and He wants you to operate in that. Amen. That's part of that uh, what what God calls the divine nature. Amen. And that's how you should operate. In the divine nature, uh, but that's through love. That's an opposite of our nature. I just want to add this to this. Hey, I remember when God gave me the Holy Ghost, the first thing he told me is, I love you. Yeah, that's beautiful. And that did something to me. Yeah. What is this thing? Right, absolutely. That's God manifesting his spirit in me to let me know I am love. Yeah. And I'm the Absolutely, absolutely, and, I, and, it, and I'm sure that we can be across this room with people yeah. that have received of His Holy Ghost. Yeah. When I received it, that's that's the first thing that was manifested in me 
was the love. Mm -hmm. huh? And I'm walking around just telling people I love you. Yeah. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> and you know it. <laughs> I'm glad you're getting punched in the face. Yeah. You know, walking around strange people I love you. And like, what's wrong with this guy? <laughs> and I didn't care who you were, male, female. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. I love you. Uh -huh. <laughs> that was the love of God. Amen. Amen. That was the Holy Ghost. Amen. The Holy Amen. Spirit. Amen. Amen. Thank you, Lord. All right, go ahead. Where we at, Pastor Doug? Okay. Ten. Go ahead. Proving what is acceptable unto the Lord. Now read, read, read. I'm sorry. Read that again. Read nine again. Yeah. For the fruit of the Spirit is in all goodness and righteousness and truth. Now notice, the fruit means produce, what you produce out of your life. Mm -hmm. Amen. This is what God expects out of your life, based on everything that Christ has done for you. Amen? And, and, and notice, I'm going to say something real deep here if you catch me, that, that, that Christ is here to help you to produce these things out of you. Yes. Amen? He is our servant, and we are his servant. Amen? Amen? Yes. He serves us, yes. and we serve him. Yes. Amen? Yes. And same likewise, same, that relationship is throughout the body of Christ. You should serve me, and I should serve you, and you should serve one another. Amen? Amen. Servanthood is throughout the body of Christ. Amen. I can go as far as say this. God is my servant as well, because he's my helper. Right. Amen? Doesn't God help you? Ain't that what a servant does? Uh, uh, and, and the Bible says that God humbles himself uh, to help you. Uh, am I right? There you go. Y'all better catch this. Thank you, Lord. God, God is here to help you. Amen. He serves you. And that doesn't take anything away from God. Uh, he's still God. Uh, he's still uh, 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 to be reverenced. He's still to be admired. Amen. He's still to be worshipped. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. But he humbles himself to serve you. Right? Pass it up. Church to worship God. Yes. But we serve God through one another. <laughs> to one another. Hallelujah. Ain't that right? Yes. We serve God through one, uh, with through helping one another. Amen. Am I right? Amen. Hallelujah. My God. My God. I need you. Mm -hmm. uh, you need me. Yeah. Am I right? Amen. Hallelujah. We ought to we ought to submit one to another. Amen? Yeah. We all, don't we submit to God? Yeah. Huh? Don't we submit to His Son, Jesus Christ? Yeah. Huh? So therefore, we ought to submit to one another. Yeah. Amen? Yeah. Huh? Am I right? Yeah. Hallelujah. Help one another. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Lord. My God. Right. And this is what Paul is talking about because it, in the beginning of the Bible class, we talked about relationship. Mm -hmm. That's why Paul is naming these things uh, especially what Deacon Fields was talking about, getting rid of that bitterness. Mm -hmm. huh? Get rid of your anger. Amen? Because your bitterness, your anger will stop, cause you to stop huh? in your service from God huh? and, and be serving one another. If I'm bitter with you and I'm offended at you, uh, then I ain't going to want to be around you. Yeah. Huh? And then if I don't want to be around you, I'm offending God. Amen. Who makes his son to rise on the just and the unjust. Yeah. Amen. Hallelujah. God looks beyond all of our faults and he sees our need. Am I right? And then I'm breaking his commandment because I'm not forgiving you. Uh, that's a commandment from God. Amen. And in fact, my blessings hinge on my forgiveness. Uh, your blessings hinge on your forgiveness. Amen. You can't get a prayer through if you got bitterness and, and hatred and anger in your heart. Amen. Uh, uh, uh. In fact, he tells you if, if you know somebody that got an offense against you, he said, get up from my altar uh, and go and be reconciled uh, to your brother or sister. It's tight, but it's right. Uh, uh, echo. And he says that for a reason. Uh, because it's relationship. Huh? It's relationship. Yeah. Holiness is relationship. Yeah. Uh, it's all about relationship. Yeah. Huh? I gotta have a right relationship with everybody. Yeah. 
huh? my, my wife, my husband, my brother, my sister, my children, huh? my workers, my co-workers, my neighbors, amen, everybody. I got to have a good relationship with the garbage man. <laughs> huh? Everybody. You follow what I'm saying? Huh? I got to have a red light relationship with my enemies. Huh? Huh? Y'all with me? Thank you, Jesus. Rock on. It's all about that. God is all about that. Huh? You got to love everybody. Amen? Thank you, Lord. That's why I was saying earlier about those commandments. The first four commandments of the Ten Commandments deal with your relationship with God. The last six of those commandments, my crooked finger, my last six of those commandments deals with your relationship with one another. God gives you more commandments to help one another than he does with you uh, having a relationship with him. Huh? That's how important it is. Am I right? All right, where we at? Uh, ten. Uh-huh. Proving what is acceptable unto the Lord. Now, now notice, oh, let me go back to nine. Jesus, let me go. move on. Uh, uh, he said, now the fruit of the Spirit is in all godliness. Now, you, oh, I'm sorry, yeah, goodness. Thank you, Lord. So what you produce, what the Spirit in you should be producing is goodness. Amen? Amen. Hallelujah. And that's part of the fruit of the Spirit. Yeah. And, and righteousness. Mm -hmm. You should be doing things that are right. Yeah. In order to, to, to do that, you should be submitting to the Spirit. Yes. Be full of the Spirit. Be full of the Spirit by submitting to the Spirit. Mm -hmm. Allowing it to lead you and guide you. Amen? When you're not, when you're not submitted to the Holy Ghost, and you're not allowing the Holy Ghost to lead you and guide you. You are submitted to your own flesh. Amen. Thank you, Lord. And, 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 and then when you submit it to your own flesh, the Bible says the wages of sin is what? Death. Amen. Hallelujah. You submit it to your carnal mind. Amen. And a carnal-minded person is enmity against God. Amen. It destroys the relationship. Mm -hmm. The Holy Ghost is given to you for multi-purposes, but it's also given to you so that you can have a right relationship with God. Amen. Relationship is everything. Amen. It's everything. It's everything. Amen. Hallelujah. All right, read. What's it say? Oh, uh, 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 righteousness and truth. The Holy Ghost produces truth within you. Yes, Amen. So you don't believe a lie. Mm -hmm. All our lifetime, we were subject to disinformation, falsehood. Who was feeding us that? The devil. <laughs> Amen. <laughs> Hallelujah. And, and if you're not careful, the devil will deceive you and make you believe a lie. Yeah. Amen. Now I feel like them old bishops. Now I'm hitting, I'm hitting the poor people. <laughs> yeah. but, but he'll make you believe a lie. Yeah. Amen. And destroy you. Amen? Amen. Thank you, Lord. So walk in the light. Mm -hmm. uh, Jesus said, I am the way, the truth, and the life. Jesus said some hard things. He said, all those that came before me were thieves and robbers. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> thank you, Lord. Uh, and he said, I am the light. Yeah. I am the way. Yeah. Am I right? Yeah. Uh, I am the truth. Yeah. Thank you, Lord. Uh, if you want truth, you follow after Jesus. Yeah. Uh, and then what I love about Jesus, especially in his teaching, he don't sugarcoat it. No. Amen. He deserves. Hallelujah. He deserves whether or not the individual is being serious or the individual is trying to trip him up. Amen. Those that are trying to trip him up, he come at their neck. Huh? But those that, are, those that are serious and want to walk with him, he'll sit down and have a conversation with you. Amen. And try to bring some understanding to you. Huh? And Nicodemus, he came to Jesus by night. He was serious. So the Lord just told him plain. He said, except you be born again yeah. uh, of the water and of the spirit, uh, uh, you won't be able to see. Yeah. You won't be able to enter in yeah. to the kingdom of God. Yeah. Uh, and then the Pharisees, he said, oh, you generation of vipers, you snakes, uh, 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 you whited sepulchers, uh, you trying to deceive the people. You follow what I'm saying? Thank you, Lord. So gee, the Lord knows. You get more out of the Lord from a broken spirit yeah. and a contrite heart. Yeah. Huh? He will in no wise despise. Yeah. 
You get more from him if you follow the subscription that says, if my people yeah. that were called by my name, if they would just humble themselves and what? And you got to pray. Yeah. Huh? You got to seek his face. Yeah. Huh? And then when he reveals himself, you got to turn. Yeah. That's repentance. Yeah, turn from what? Your wicked ways. He said, then will I what? Yeah. Hear from him. Then will I forgive your sins. Then will I heal your land. Yeah. Amen. It's all about relationship. Thank you, yeah. Tell your neighbor it's about relationship. Oh, Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Deacon Fields? Oh, okay. Thank you, Lord. All right. Go ahead, Pastor Doug. Proving what is acceptable unto the Lord. Now notice, you've got to prove huh, what is acceptable to the Lord. Amen. That's your whole job. Amen? Prove it. <laughs> uh, in other words, he's saying, walk by faith and not by sight. Yeah. It's not what you all that you say, uh, but it's but what you do. Mm -hmm. Amen? Dig it feels? When you're in a relationship, Woo! you're always trying to find out what it is that can please that person. Yes! You, you just say, okay, let me see if she like this. Of darkness. In other words, 
That fellowship means imitation. He doesn't want you to imitate the devil. Amen? Don't imitate evil people. You follow me? Thank you, Lord. Uh, have no fellowship with them, the unfruitful works of darkness, but allow your light to shine so you can reprove them. Amen? That means expose them. Not, not that you better than anybody else, but if you bring light uh, to a dark situation, uh, people going to see how dirty they are. Amen? You follow me? Thank you, Lord. All right, read. For it is a shame even to speak of those things which are done of them in secret. Right. So don't be like those people. Amen. Come out from among them. Be what? Separate. Separate, saith the Lord. Amen. Deacon Fields? Can you become an enabler if you uh, see people doing wicked stuff and, and don't speak up about it? Absolutely. Absolutely. Yes. Thank you, Lord. And, you know, uh, be led by the Spirit. Yeah. Be led by the Holy Ghost. Right. Because there's a time to speak and there's a time not to speak. Yeah. And sometimes you're not speaking is speaking. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So let, go, let the Holy Ghost lead you. Because you can give a look. You know? So I can't believe it. <laughs> Thank you, Jesus. And, and, and let the Holy Ghost lead you. Amen? Thank you, Lord. And then, then he brings up a good point. Now, uh, 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 Paul, when he saw Peter disseminating himself from the brethren, uh -huh. amen, because he was imitating uh, that old way. Am I right? right? Thank you, Lord. And Paul said, I withstood him to the face. Uh, uh, because because uh, uh, the reason why he did that publicly, because what Peter was doing was public. Yeah. Amen? And, people, and he would become a stumbling block to those other people. I'm going to slow down, Holy Ghost. Uh, uh, Peter was a leader in the church. Right. And, and people ought to imitate their leaders. That's what following me. Whoa, see, I done got deep on y'all. So if y'all going to follow, follow me as I follow Christ, imitate me as I imitate Christ. Amen? And then you yourself ought to be uh, 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 and use your influence so that you can lead others to Christ so that they can imitate you. Amen? Now, uh, Peter was a leader. Amen? So, so he was leading weak brethren astray. Uh, so Paul would stood him to the face so because he wanted the mother weak brethren to know that that's not the way to do things. Amen? Thank you, Lord. So there's a time. You got to let the Holy Ghost lead you. You got to let the Holy Ghost guide you. Sometimes, you know, people may do some things. You pull them aside and you talk to them. You follow? Uh, let the Holy Ghost lead and guide you. Amen? All right. Where we at, Pastor Doug? All right, read. But all things that are reproved uh -huh. are made manifest by the light. Now, all things that are made known, whether they be good or bad behavior, is manifest by the light that is in you. Amen? And here, this word light means uh, 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 your wisdom and knowledge and understanding of God in Christ. Amen? Thank you, Lord. Your wisdom and knowledge of understanding of the Word of God. That's the light. Amen? That's the light. The wisdom that God gives you. You're receiving light right now. Amen? Uh, wisdom and knowledge and understanding. The, the light of knowing that, that, that uh, uh, God wants you to serve others and to help others. So, so, so when you do that, you reprove the evil works of darkness. Uh, you can't operate uh, uh, in the church according to worldly principles. Worldly principles is all about what I said, my three favorites. Me, myself, and I. Yeah. Amen? If you got that mentality, i got to get all I can to get ahead. Amen? Uh, Jesus said, he that would be great among you shall be the servant huh, among you. Huh? That's, that's what God calls great. You follow me? Sacrifice, service. You follow me? Thank you, Lord. And when you operate like that, you, you're, you're exposing the evil works of darkness. Amen? Hallelujah. Y'all with me? Yeah. All right, read. Where we at? 13. Uh-huh. But all things that are reproved are made manifest by the light. 
Uh -huh. For whatsoever it doth make manifest is light. Right. That, that light is, once again, is the wisdom, the knowledge, and the understanding that God gives you in, 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 in the face of Jesus Christ. What you learn, what you read, what you understand, what comes to you through this Bible is light. Amen? And that light equals wisdom, knowledge, and understanding. Uh, and when you operate in that, you're operating in light. Uh, that's, that's very key. Y'all with me? Mm -hmm. Thank you, Lord. All right, read. 14. Uh-huh. Wherefore he said, Awake thou that sleepest, mm -hmm. and arise from the dead, uh -huh. and Christ shall give thee light. Now there, Paul, in his epistle, he's actually given an altar call right there. Uh, he's given an altar call to, to his readers, uh, would-be readers, that, that are walking in darkness. Amen? He's telling them basically in those few words, Repent! Uh, get baptized! Uh, hallelujah! And, and the Lord will save you! Uh, stop! Uh, uh, get yourself together! Uh, come out of darkness! Come out of fornication! Amen? You follow me? Come out of whatever wickedness you involved in. Uh, that's, that's an altar call right there. <laughs> There's always a time to say, Hallelujah. Come out, wake up. Uh, wake up, time to wake up. Uh, thank you, Lord. The devil has lured some of us to sleep. Uh, wake up. Don't be rumpled still skin. Wake up. Uh, thank you, Lord. Get up. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. And, and Christ shall give you light. Uh, thank you. He's the light of the world that lighteth every man that cometh into the world. Uh, that's Jesus. Am I right? Yeah. Uh, how great is your light shining? Uh, Jesus taught. He said, if your, if your eye be single, meaning that if you be at one with him, then that, how great is that light that, was, that is within you? Amen. But if your eye be not single, how great is the darkness uh, that is within you? Amen. Uh, that darkness represents sin, ignorance. Amen. Disobedience. That's what darkness represents. Light represents wisdom, understanding, knowledge. Y'all follow me? Amen. Uh, all right. Where we at? Read. Fifteen. Fifteen. See then that you walk circumspectly. Uh huh. Not as fools, but as wise. Now notice that word circumspectly. There means he says. Now, now notice he keeps talking about walking, uh, and walking deals with what? Yeah. How you live. Yeah. How you communicate. How you interact. And that word circumspectly means uh, uh, be, be, be cautious of what you do. Be attentive of what you say. You follow me? Don't, 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 don't just do any and everything. Try the spirit. By the spirit. Amen. Amen? Mm -hmm. Because what you've got is precious. Mm -hmm. huh? what, you, what you are in is valuable. You don't want to be a stumbling block. You don't want to grieve the Holy Ghost. Now notice what he says. He says, walk. What verse is that? 15. Uh-huh. See then that you walk circumspectly. Uh-huh. Not as fools, but as wise. Now notice. He says, walk cir circumspectly. Uh -huh. Not as what? Fools. Not as fools. You know, don't take risks. Fools take risks. Right. Amen? Mm -hmm. And a fool is a simple-minded person. Simple-minded. Mm -hmm. It's not that they don't know, but they're just simple. You follow me? They're not, they're not paying attention. They're willing to take a risk. Don't take risks. Follow me? You know that what, what God's Word said? Don't take a chance. And, and, and go against God and saying, well, God is a loving God. He'll take me back. He'll forgive me. Huh? Don't be like that. Don't be a fool. Follow me? Don't take risks. Follow what I'm saying? There was uh, <laughs> one situation where uh, the person was engaged and they said well you know I had to taste the water 
Just because I'm being married to the person all my life, I had to see what they got. That's a fool. That's a risk. <laughs> you follow what I'm saying? That's risky. But I'll go ahead and do it. God know my heart. I got to see what it got. Huh? That's dumb. You follow me? Jesus said, my God, Jesus said, when the devil came to him, said, jump off this pinnacle. How right. the angels will bear you up. What did Jesus tell him? Thou shalt not what? Tempt. tempt the Lord thy God. You follow me? Don't tempt God. Don't be a fool. Walk circumspectly. Don't take the risk. Amen. Amen. Don't put yourself in risky situations. You follow me? You may not come back. Uh, 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 who's those two people that got killed when they lied about their offering to the Holy Ghost? Thank you. <laughs> I knew y'all knew. <laughs> uh, they took a risk. Got killed. You follow me? Uh, that one man that that when David was carrying that ark of the covenant back the wrong way, it was falling off the the the, the ox. He took a risk. Got killed. Uh, don't take a risk. It'll get you killed. You follow me? Now notice what it says. Notice what it says. See then that ye walk circumspectly, meaning don't, don't take risks uh, with your own salvation. Notice what it says. Not as what? Not as fools. But what? Wow. But be wise. Amen. Wise. Why? Wisdom comes from the application of the word of God. Amen. Apply God's word to your life. Amen? All right, Deacon Fields? You know, there's been times where you may be around the situation and the Lord that tell you it's time for you to go. And if you don't, yeah. and if you don't, <laughs> you gonna wish you did. Right. Right. There's there's a there's a there's a scripture, there's a scripture in the Bible. There was a, a prophet that God told him, I want you to go and prophesy and leave. Uh-huh. Huh? He went there, prophesied, and stayed. And what happened? He died. Amen? You got to do what thus saith the Lord. Uh, and, and, and in order, I'm going to be honest with you. In order to do what thus saith the Lord, you got to allow the Spirit of God to be manifested in you. You got to submit to the Holy Ghost. You got, in order for you to walk with God, you got to practice submitting. Amen. Huh? Before God send you on an assignment, you got to practice submitting. That's right. uh, I'm being honest what I'm saying there. Because you can get in some situations where if, if you haven't practiced submitting to God, then, then you do what you want to do. Make a whole fool of the whole situation. You follow me? Thank you, Jesus. My God. All right. Where we at? Be 16. Uh-huh. Redeeming the time uh -huh. because the days are evil. Yes, now notice, he's using that word redeeming. He notice he says redeeming the time, meaning that our time is short. Make every step count. Your life is short. You don't have time for foolishness. Amen. I'm 57 years old. Amen. I'm, I'm almost there to 70. <laughs> so I got to make my steps count. Amen? Jesus is soon to come. You got to make your steps count. Amen? Put away stupid stuff. Am I right? Thank you, Lord. Redeem the time. That's what it means. Redeeming. Purchase. Use your time that you have on this earth. Notice it says redeem it. Redeem it for what? For godly experiences. Get more into God. Use your time to get more into God. Uh, don't use your time to get more into the world. Huh? Use your time to get more into God. Use more time studying and praying, uh, doing what the will of God is for your life. Don't spend your time doing what the devil has before you. Now, I'm going to say this. I'm going to get some people mad. Don't spend some, so much time in doing what you want to do. 
Huh? Do what God would have you to do. Huh? Because you've been bought with a price. Huh? You are not your own. Huh? Paul was talking here, wasn't he? Use your time wisely. Amen? Hallelujah. Redeeming the time. Read. Because the days are evil. Uh -huh. Now, evil days are coming. Huh? Uh -huh. You said it, David. <laughs> evil days are here. <laughs> Amen? Perilous times, he says, shall come. Perilous times have come. <laughs> Amen? Thank you, Lord. Jesus can come any minute. Uh, people now, the only thing that I'm going to tell y'all a little nugget. The only thing that was, uh, uh, in my opinion, was, uh, now as I said my opinion, uh, was holding things up for Jesus to come. He was waiting for the, the kingdom of heaven to be preached. Amen. And now everywhere you go, you hear about the kingdom of heaven being preached. That's a warning sign. Amen. That he's soon to come. Thank you. If you read Matthew chapter uh, 24, and it'll tell you that. Amen. When, when the coming of the Lord Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. And we now understand that we're living in that time. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. Hey, there's so much evil going on. It's topsy turvy. Yeah. Uh, I can uh, uh I ain't got nothing against uh homosexuals, I ain't got nothing against gays and lesbian and, and, and all of that, but you know that is evil when I say that, but I ain't got nothing against them as far as people. But, you know, I, I, I get confused sometimes when I see a, 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 a guy or a woman, I'm trying to figure out what sex they are. You know, that, that makes me upset, me internally. You know, because I'm trying to figure it out. Because I, I try to want to approach people and, you know, want to do it the right way, but they confuse me. You know, that's frustrating. You know, that's frustrating. There was, there was I, I'm assuming it was a lady that was, uh, we was in Florida. I'm assuming it was a lady. I asked people around me so I could be able to address her properly or him. I don't know what it was. Uh, but, but they were helping taking my bags out, you know, doing a good job, right. taking the bags out. And, you know, I like to say, thank you, ma'am. Thank you, sir. And all I said was, thank you. You know, I couldn't, I couldn't, I couldn't figure it out. You know, that was frustrating to me. You know what I'm saying? I'm asking folks. They say, I don't know. I don't know. You know, to other, some people it may not matter, but to me it matters. <laughs> like, so, so, so we're living in that time. Uh, transsexuals are, 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 are rampant on the TV. Uh, in the days of Sodom and Gomorrah, we're living in that time. Amen. Thank you, Lord. So walk circumspectly. Do things right. Do things decently and in order. Amen. Amen. All right, go ahead. Read, Pastor. 17. 17, read. Wherefore be ye not unwise. Uh, don't be unwise. But understanding what the will of the Lord is. Now notice when it says advice. Understand what God's will is. How you going to understand it? Read it. Study it. Study to show yourself approved unto God. A workman that needeth not to be ashamed. Rightly dividing the word of truth. Meditate on God's word. Amen. Meaning this. When you read uh, uh, in the morning uh, your, your, your devotional, think about that the whole day. You follow me? So that God can give you nuggets out of it. That's how I get nuggets. Huh? That's how you can get nuggets. By meditating on the word of God, what you have read. And then, and then act, give God a total blank space, a, a blank sheet, so to speak. Even though you've read that piece of scripture and studied it, act like you don't know nothing. Say, Lord, just open up my understanding. Let him feed you. Give you perspective. Amen? Hallelujah. So that you can have something. Am I right? That's what Paul is about to tell us in these next verses. Amen? About, about meditation. Meditation is key. Meditation means you, you, you think about the scriptures. You meditate on them. How often? Day and night. Amen? They said, then you shall be like a what? 
A tree, you can't be like a tree. You can want to be like a tree, but you can't be like a tree until you're meditating on the word. Huh? Understanding what the will of the Lord is. Amen? Thank God with me. Thank you, because, because if you don't, if you don't understand what the will of God is, you can take a scripture out of context. Huh? And think you're doing right when you're doing all wrong. You follow me? God said, uh, uh, taught, tells us to give to every cause. Huh? And if, if you're not careful, uh, you, you can be given to a cause that ain't right. That's seen out of the book. See? How that, how that scripture connect, give to every cause. Then God said, don't stunt in the hand of the wicked. So you got to meditate and know how that blends. How that comes together. Amen? And, and if you take time to meditate on God's word, that's how you get wisdom. Amen? Amen? And especially if your intent while you're meditating on it is to obey it. Oh! My God, God is like right up here. If you're trying to get his word to obey it, you're like off the chart. Hallelujah. God will open it up. Hallelujah. Thank you. And don't mess around and obey it. Oh! Hallelujah. Things will fall in line. That trouble in your way. Now you got to move out the way. Why? Because you're obeying God's word. That's kind of old shut that up. Father, the angels will come see about you. Hallelujah. That kind of old shut that up. Hallelujah. The devils are back up off you. Hey, why? She obeyed my word. He obeyed my word. Hallelujah. Hey, Lord. Hallelujah. You, you, you buying the truth. Huh? And not a seller. Hallelujah. God, God will bless you. Amen. You got to know what the keys of the kingdom are. Amen. Hallelujah. All right, where we at, Pastor? 17. Uh -huh. What does he say? Wherefore be ye not unwise, uh -huh. but understanding what the will of the Lord is. So you've got to understand what God's will is. And these next verses is going to help us uh, to understand what God's will is. Read what does it say? And be not drunk with wine. Now notice, you can't be drunk with wine, but what? Wherein is excess. Uh -huh. Now you can't be sitting there in your devotionals uh, drinking you some Chardonnay. Uh, or or, or you some wine. You follow me? Uh, and, and you can't, my God. Y'all just know what I'm saying. You can't be drunk like the world. Intoxicated. Uh, influenced by worldly opinion. Amen. Thank you, Lord. You can't be studying God's word and listening to CNN. Uh, things like that that are ungodly. Uh, comparing God's word to wicked things. Amen. Uh, he said, she said stuff. You follow me? No. Amen. And I'm going to say this. I'm going to go as far as this. Don't, don't try. Uh, uh, when you, when you, uh, let me say it this way. Help me here, Holy Ghost. When you are in sure enough devotion with God, you know, forget about the commentaries. Let the Holy Ghost be your commentary. Amen? Now, don't get me wrong. I read commentaries. I get understanding from commentaries. But when it comes down to, to me trying to understand what the will of God is, the Holy Ghost is given to us as a teacher. Yes, it is. Amen? Let the Holy Ghost teach you. Amen. Let the Holy Ghost lead you and guide you into all trust, into all truth. Put your trust in the Holy Ghost. Amen. Amen. Your father. Now, I ain't, I, don't get me wrong. If you got a commentary, read it. I got commentaries, I read it. But I also uh, uh, put away them commentaries and allow the Holy Ghost to open up my mind. Amen. Y'all with me? Thank you, Jesus. I'm helping somebody here tonight. Thank you, Jesus. Go ahead. Hey, oh, come on. Come on, just give God a praise. Holy Ghost is real. The anointing is real. The power of God is real. Let the Holy Ghost lead you. Let the Holy Ghost. It, it was worthy to save you. It's worthy to lead and guide you into all truth. Yeah. Hallelujah. Uh, did you feel you know, when you're drinking wine or liquor and stuff like that,
that. Yeah. yeah. It's a mocker. The thoughts that come to your mind yes. <laughs> ain't good. No. <laughs> Next thing you know, you're, you may carry out some revenge. Revenge. You, you, you'll you get an interpretation that ain't ain't good. False courage. Yeah. And Next thing you know, you have some lights and stuff. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> we, uh, we know, we know. Alcohol <laughs> makes people act different. <laughs> huh? Give them boldness. <laughs> Won't, won't want to say. Some of them make them angry. They start fighting. Some of them get promiscuous uh, when they drink frisky. Frisky is whiskey. Uh, uh, folk get like that. Uh, uh, some some folk drink and just pass out. They miss it. They miss it life. Let life uh, pass them by. Uh, so so what he's saying is, don't be intoxicated with man stuff, but be intoxicated with the Holy Ghost. Amen. 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 Be, be influenced by the Holy Ghost. Amen. Be full of the Spirit. Be Amen. full of the anointing. Mm -hmm. Amen. Mm -hmm. <laughs> be full of His power. Yeah. Am I right? Yeah. I, I want to be full of the Holy Ghost. Yeah. Hey, yeah. Let me go. Uh, 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 Sister Louise? I was thinking too, uh, with, with reading the commentary, uh, if you read with the intention to get a better understanding mm -hmm. it broadens your it broadens you, yes and in, in the process of that then you begin to understand more and, and learn more about God's word then he can give you more information he gives you more knowledge yes. on what you understand about his word through reading and commentary absolutely, they do work Yeah. absolutely Thank you, Lord. I read them myself. Yeah, it works. Absolutely. You got to know how to read it. Yes. You know, uh, with Thank the right you. intention or with, with the spirit of, you know, spirit is anointed or whatever. Yes. Let the Holy Ghost yeah. the, the discern it. So I like that word. Thing, like you said, you have to let the Holy Ghost lead you. Yes. And God, yeah. that's its job. Amen. Let the Holy Ghost be the workhorse. Mm -hmm. Let it reveal to you the mysteries of God. Mm -hmm. Amen. And now notice, when you get that for yourself, can't nobody take it from you. No. Amen? And then you won't be susceptible to the wiles of the devil. The reason why Eve fell is because she lacked wisdom. Amen? She lacked wisdom. She was going off of uh, probably what, what her husband told her not to do, not having the full understanding. You follow me? So when the other enemy came, Huh? The enemy came and tricked her. She was deceived. But no, the Bible said she was deceived. Huh? You follow? Me? Don't be deceived. God is not mocked. Whatsoever a man do, if that shall be what? Also read. Amen. Light has come. Am I right? Days of ignorance are over. <laughs> Um, all right, read, Pastor. Where we at? 18. 18. Read. And be not drunk with wine, wherein is excess, uh -huh. but be filled with the Spirit. Be filled with the anointing. Yeah. Be filled with the Holy Ghost. And notice, uh, I often give this analogy. When, when the water company come to hook up your house and hook your house up with water, they turn on that pressure, they give you all the water they have. And, and what you use is what you turn on the faucet it comes out, right? You turn it on a little bit, a little come out. You turn it on a lot, a lot comes out. Same way with the Holy Ghost. When God gave you the Holy Ghost, He gave you everything that you need. Amen. He didn't give. We do have a portion of the Holy Ghost. Jesus has the fullness of it. Amen. But He gave it to us by portion because we can't handle it. Amen. We wouldn't go do what Jesus did. <laughs> Die for the sins of the world. You follow me? Thank you. So, so, so when God, when you got filled with the Holy Ghost, you got filled with the fullness of God and everything you need, but it's determined up to you of how much you use. Amen. It's on you. Amen. Amen. It's on you. That's why you see some people doing great exploits for God because they're allowing God to use them. Some people do mediocre things for God because they only use it in a mediocre way. Notice, that's what Jesus was trying to explain when he talked about 
the parables. He gave one, uh, two talents, uh, gave one, three talents, gave one, one talent. Amen? And the one that had the three doubled it. Uh, the one that had the two doubled it. You follow me? The one that had one, five. Thank you, Deke. Five. The one that had the one talent, what did he do? Yeah, he dug a ditch and he did what? He buried it. Don't bury the Holy Ghost. Amen. Don't bury the anointing. Let the Holy Ghost use you. God has given us purpose and assignment. Here I go. Thank you, Lord. Purpose, assignment, kingdom. Amen. God has given that to you. He's given you gifts. Amen. Huh? And he gave you the Holy Ghost as the engine so that you can operate in your gifts. Amen. Amen. And I need your gift. Huh? Y'all with me? You need my gifts. You follow me? That's what causes unity. That's what causes strength to the body. Huh? Y'all with me? Huh? So, so you submit to my gift, I submit to your gift, and we all can get along. That's what Rodney King was trying to tell us. Huh? Huh? We can all get along. Huh? If we're submitting one to another, working with one another and allowing the Holy Ghost to lead us. And we're walking in love. Huh? Am I right? I agree. Lord have mercy. Uh -huh. Speaking to yourselves in psalms and hymns and spiritual songs, singing and making melody in your heart to the Lord. Now see, now that's what he's talking about, how to obtain that uh, uh, being, being, uh, understanding what the will of the Lord is uh, by, by not being drunk in excess, be filled with the Spirit. And verse 19 is talking about meditation. Get you a spiritual hymn. Get you some songs to sing. Sing, sing the scriptures. Sing the psalms. The Lord is my light and my salvation. Whom shall I fear? Follow me? Sing those. Put that in your heart. Amen? Y'all with me? Thank you. All right, read. We said. Giving thanks always for all things uh -huh. unto God and the Father in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Now, he means that. Giving thanks for what? All things. All things. The good, the bad, and the ugly. You ain't going to do that unless you feel with the Spirit. There's some things that happen on this road make you scratch your head. Like, God, why you do that? Why you allow that to happen to me? Huh? Yeah. Haven't I always served you, God? Why? You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Thank you, Lord. And if you ain't walking in the spirit, you can let that be a stumbling block. Throw in the towel. Give up because the enemy will be there. See, God don't love you. God don't care about you. He, he, he allowed that to happen to you. You follow me? Uh, so, so, so you got to give thanks in all things. That's a weapon of warfare. Mm -hmm. uh, bless the Lord, oh my soul, and all that is what? Within me. Bless his holy name. Amen? Amen? Amen. Now, you got to condition yourself to do that. That just don't come automatically. That just don't come because you've got the Holy Ghost. Amen? That comes because you're allowing the Holy Ghost to use you. Amen. To talk to you. Right. Hey, hey, to lead and to guide you. Amen. To what truth? The word of God. Amen. The Holy Ghost will remind you to give thanks. Amen. And to stop. Put, a, put an interruption to your murmuring and complaining. Amen. Thank you, Lord. You got to listen to it. My, All right. Read. Where we at, Pastor uh -huh. Submitting yourselves one to another in the fear of God. Now note, here it is. Uh, verse 21. The reason why we got to walk in love is and be like Christ because I got to submit myself. I got to submit myself. Submit myself one to another in what? In the, in the reverence of God. The world looks at submitting yourself as a weakness. The foolish things of the world is wise unto God. God wants you to submit yourself. Now, submission is 
is, is what God calls honor. Follow? Mm -hmm. Submission is what God calls honor. The world looks at it as being a subordinate, being a slave. Mm -hmm. That's not how God looks at it. He looks at you honoring the individual and their position. You're honoring the gifts that I've given unto them. You're honoring the position that I have for them. Amen? Honor. Honor one another. In reverence to God. Follow me? That reverence means, or the fear of God means the reverence of God. I, I honor you because I'm reverencing God. Amen? Work as unto the Lord. You got a, a crooked, no good boss. Huh? Work as unto the Lord. You follow me? When, when, when King Saul was after David to kill him, huh? what did David? David? David was given opportunity to get revenge. He said, touch not my anointed, do my prophet no harm. David had, 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 was, was given an opportunity for some wicked advice. One of his soldiers was there. He said, David, get him. You got an opportunity. Kill him. Huh? Huh? David rebuked that. Don't take the counsel of the ungodly. Amen? That man was ungodly. Uh, Jesus said this to uh, 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 Judas, I believe it was. Thou art an offense unto me. Huh? We can't be an offense. Don't let, don't let wicked people uh, uh, get you to do uh, evil things. You follow me? And that person, I'm going to be honest with you, that person that told David to do that, he, in his own mind, was operating in good intentions. Uh, get rid of your situation. God, David, don't you see God delivered him into your hand? God didn't deliver him into his hand. God gave, put, uh, wanted to see what David would do. Would he be like me? Will he have mercy on, on, on those that need mercy? You follow me? When God delivered your enemies into your hand, what are you going to do? You going to chuck their neck off? Huh? Or are you going to show them mercy? Because the Bible says, blessed are the merciful, for they shall what? Up to, so when you need mercy, God will look at whether or not you show mercy. You follow me? Hallelujah. I'm teaching up in here. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. All right. Now note, he said, submitting yourselves uh, one to another in what? The fear of God. So I've got to submit myself to you, and you've got to submit yourself to me. Amen? Why? Because we have gifts. We have callings. We have purposes. Amen? God is trying to do something with us. If you're going to have unity in the church or unity in the body of Christ, you've got to be submissive. Follow me? My hand doesn't look down on my feet. No. Huh? Am I right? And my feet don't look down on my hand. Huh? They work together. Huh? With my eyes. Amen. Huh? Ear, eye, hand coordination. Huh? Amen. In order to get stuff done. Yeah. Huh? In order for Christ to get something done in the body, we need each other to be coordinated, to operating with one another. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Amen? Y'all with me? Yeah. It's all about relationship. All right, y'all give me five more minutes, all right? All right, read. What's it say? 22. Uh-huh. Wise. Submit yourselves unto your own husbands as unto the Lord. Now we're talking about submitting, right? We're talking about what were we talking about? Submission. Submission. And holiness is about what? Relationship. Amen? And, and you have to do the right thing in all relationships. Mm -hmm. Am I right? So he says, wives do what? Submit yourselves unto your own husbands. And we said submission is honor. Right? Mm -hmm. Honor your own husband. Mm -hmm. huh? mm -hmm. Now, I get upset, and I got a right to get upset if, if, if First Lady Quinn 
uh, start uh, honoring somebody else's husband and not honoring me. You follow me? Somebody out of order. You follow me? And I got a right. You're going to hear me talk. I'm on roar. So what you doing? <laughs> I, I, I'm going to get upset. I got a right to get upset. You follow? You're her Lord. I'm her Lord. Huh? And, and, and notice, he says, honor your own husbands as unto who? The Lord. The Lord, Jesus. As you would submit yourself mm -hmm. and honor Jesus Christ, she has to submit herself and honor me mm -hmm. on the same level. Yeah. Mm -hmm. No difference. Right. You follow? No difference. Tight, but it's right. Follow me? As she seeks, as we seek to please Jesus and submit ourselves to him, she has to seek and to please me. That's right. Amen? Now, why do we submit ourselves to Jesus? Why? We submit ourselves to his authority. Yeah, yeah. Huh? His position. Mm -hmm. Am I right? Yeah. Thank you, Lord. She has to submit herself to me because of my authority that is given unto me by Christ. Mm -hmm. And my position. Right. Amen. The head of, of the woman is the man. That's right. The head of the man is Christ. Right. The head of Christ is God. Oh. Amen. Right. Thank you, Lord. And, that's, and that submission isn't that I rule over her. No. That ain't it. No. Huh? It's, 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 it's me, uh, uh, as we get in the scriptures, it's me looking out for her. So I can fulfill the mandate that God has put in my life. Mm -hmm. You got to allow your husbands to fulfill the mandate that God has given unto them. Amen. And not bossy and brazen. That's it. My God. Y'all with me? Mm -hmm. <laughs> she said that. Y'all with her? <laughs> but, but that's it. That's it. Don't be bossy and brazen. You should never tell your husband you no good. That that I wish I'd have married your brother. Oh, oh. Uh, you dumb. Huh? No. And and you know he might not be the smartest box in the rock in the and the, the smartest rock in the box. Or compare you to another man. Right. Oh. You know you not like him. He right. does this and he does that. Right. No. Uh -uh. Encourage your own husband. Yeah. Submit to your own husband. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. You said I do. You said I will. Yeah, <laughs> Come on here. Yeah. Am I right? Yeah. I'm going to say, uh, people have to uh, get an understanding what that word submission means. Right. We're we, we trying to work with it. Some people think submission means, you know, uh, like I said, uh, submission means <laughs> like when they have you the headlock, you say, I can't. Yeah, no, 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 don't no, put no pressure on her like that. No. It, mm. it, 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 it's, it's, it, it, like you said, it's acknowledging the, yes. the, the uh, authority of the word of God that's coming through that person. Yes. It's not them, it's the word of God that's coming through that Yes, person. and it's God's, it's God's will. Mm -hmm. Amen? It's God's will. And, it, and this comes from um, um, what Eve did. If y'all read the scripture in Genesis, how uh, she was deceived by the devil. Yeah. And part of, of the correction plan was that, that, that she submit to her husband. Yeah. You follow me? Yeah. Amen. So, so this submission, like I said, is honoring the position and the authority mm -hmm. as, as one would submit to the Lord. All right. See now, this this stuff here now it take time to get through. Yes. <laughs> verse, verse number uh, twenty three. For the husband is the head of the wife. All right. So the husband is the head of the wife. Even as Christ is the head of the church. Now, now see that's how the the husband ought to uh, treat the wife. Yeah. You follow me? As 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 Christ treats us. Right. You follow me? Mm -hmm. Read. And he is the savior of the body. Now, that savior of the body means that he's the savior of the, the, the spirit, soul, and body. Meaning, meaning that he should 
have in his primary focus for his wife all of her well-being. You follow me? He should do nothing to hurt her. Nothing to harm her. You with me? Lord have mercy. I see it's time to go. Lord Jesus. All right. Well, I, I know it's, I know it's, I know it's, I know it's my time. All right. Oh, boy. Yeah, we won't stop here. Lord have mercy. We just getting ready to go. <laughs> but we thank God. We're going to pick up here directly. Uh, uh, Ephesians 5 and 22. Amen. And those that are, uh, we thank God for you all that are, have come to be with us on today and those that have uh, tuned in with us. Amen. And it's offering time in the sanctuary. Uh, you do have an opportunity to give through our Tidely uh, website. Amen. And just go into Tidely, look up under Christian Ministries, and then follow the prompts. And we thank God for you tuning in with us. And we want to uh, continue to pray for you. Those of you that uh, leave me a, a prayer request comment, I'll surely go on it tonight. And I'll look there tonight at your comment, and I will pray for you uh, uh, as the will of the Lord is concerning your situation. And also, too, pray for us here at Christian Ministries. Pray for the body of Christ everywhere. I love you. May heaven smile upon you. In Jesus' name, amen.